Hey, it's another Sunday in the kitchen with Chef Larry. And this Sunday, we're going to make the lightest gnocchi and easiest recipe that I've ever seen before. And um, from start to finish, here are all the things that you're going to need. Rock salt, about uh, three pounds of russet potatoes, um, a great tool for the kitchen, potato ricer, a nice sturdy one, not the plastic ones, they don't work well. Flour, about a cup, and one whole egg. And of course salt, pepper, and we're going to use a little bit of nutmeg. Alright, so what we do is we uh, take the uh, rock salt and um, put it on the bottom of the dish and then just uh, prick the uh, potatoes with uh, a fork, cover it with uh, tin foil, cook it for about an hour until the potatoes are, how they say, fork tender. Okay? Goes in and out very easily. So now the next step is we're going to rice them. So all I need to do now is take each potato and I can leave the skin on because this rice, that's what's so great about this ricer. It's going to push it right through and then just leave the skin behind which I can just peel off and discard. Very simple and you get perfect rice potatoes every time. A lot easier than putting through a food mill. Putting the potato cut side down, of course, is the best way to do it so that it all goes right through and it just leaves behind the skin. It's a big pile of potatoes. And they're hot. You don't want to um, do the potatoes when they're cold because then um, they'll be very kind of gluteny and uh, almost pasty like. So you, you, you need to do them when they're still somewhat warm or even hot. It makes it a lot easier to rice it too. And there's our mound of potatoes. Okay, next step. Let's clean the work surface off. We could actually let this cool down a little bit because they really just came out of the oven. Just spread them out like that. Okay, so now I got my spices. I like it with a little bit of nutmeg. So we sprinkle a little nutmeg on there. Of course, we use some kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper. So, then we need one whole egg right in the middle. And before we mix in the flour, we need to mix in this egg. The flour is uh, what's going to make the gnocchi seem heavier. So mix in all your ingredients, your wet ingredients, your egg, um, olive oil, uh, your seasonings, all of that before you start putting the flour in because the key is to use as little flour as possible. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil too. By using this uh, bench scraper instead of using my hands and rolling this dough over and over again that's what's make, going to make the uh, gnocchi seem much lighter. So, here we go. So I'm going to start with one cup of flour. And just cover the top of it. And then I'm just going to cut it in. By doing this, instead of rolling it like a, like a dough, 
you'll get a much lighter gnocchi. feel of the dough you'll know when it's the moisture is at the right level and that's pretty close I think we can get away with almost using I'll put it together with my hands now just to form it I'm going to take a little piece off roll it and see if it'll stay together and we'll see if we can Test one piece and see if it floats, and then we'll know that we are at a, that we have a good mix. Okay. I used about three quarters of a cup so far. All right, so our first tester fell apart, so we do have to put a little bit more flour in. Probably gonna wind up using the whole cup, but they will still come out very light. So let's test one more. Oh yeah. Okay, second part of the trick. Have a uh, pasta pot, of course, with salted boiling water. And then put a piece of uh, kitchen twine across the uh, top of it and draw it somewhat tight. So now all you got to do is push your gnocchi out to, to that length and drop them straight into the boiling water. So it cuts it for you and you can move pretty quick and all your gnocchi will look uniform just keep twisting the, the bag and of course, when the gnocchi float to the top, that's when they're done cooking. And we'll dump them into this uh, pot of, uh, I mean, this uh, bowl of ice water that I have sitting right next to the pasta pot. Okay, we've made the gnocchi, and I've taken a, uh, a serving of the gnocchi. And we're going to do it in a brown buttered sage sauce. I'm going to pan, pan sear the gnocchi so they get crisp on the outside and nice and tender on the inside. So I've got a nice hot pan right here. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of butter, throw it in the pan. I have some fresh sage, whole leaf, just throw them right in there. The idea is to get this butter, butter to start to brown, so we want the fats and the, to, to cook so that they brown the, um, the butter a little bit. Gives it a nutty flavor, and the sage, of course, adds a good herbaceous flavor to it. All right, now 
Now we're going to throw in our gnocchi that we just made. We're going to let them brown on each side. A little bit of salt and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. They're starting to brown on the side. We turn them over a little bit. And brown them on the other side. You really want to use a non-stick pan when you do this so that you get a good crust on the gnocchi. And we're going to add another tablespoon of butter. And I'm going to add some fine diced shallots. Finish it all off. Nicely. Shallots, the aroma of the shallots coming up. And then a couple of drops of chicken stock. And the chicken stock is going to deglaze the bottom of the pan, it's going to bring everything together. Have it. The gnocchi and a brown butter sage. The lightest gnocchi you'll ever eat and the easiest to make. No more time fork, rolling it out, just a soft, crunchy, mmm. Very, very good.